inspirado. Name's B. Looking into the death of one Lucius Rhine. Wonder why? Jefferson and Elizabeth Perales hired me to do it. Something mayor sniffing around his predecessor's untimely death. Interesting. Done some digging, got more intel. Also interesting. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat. Thanks, stranger. That was a close one.
Santa Domingo. A crime has been reported. Roger, dispatch. Standing by for coordinates. Someone here to see you, yeah, looks like. It isn't, but huh. not a Wonder what about. One contract brought you up, another brought you right back down. You must be V. And as your former your partner, Detective Han. Let me give you some advice. Down here. We Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. You see me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl, anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner? Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. It's an info to him. What was it? What? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Ah! 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 
Come on, Reed. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. They brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that? Because you got a good heart? make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Shamed? No. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? As I see it, Perales is up to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? Dunno. But even if he's not, a murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? Guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard, it's some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. See, I might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Sorry, we? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. He's your CI. Doesn't know me. Well, uh, last we met it didn't go so well. For him. The people he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. Who is this guy? A proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. All right, wait here then. Look 
looking for uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Looking for a club? Red Queen's race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Clouds in Japantown. Want an address? Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address, means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. Fuck, no! Said I was done! I was out! Don't be soft. Upgrade now. Leave me the fuck alone, all of you! Nikola! Fuck. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? You can't make me do a damn thing. Rest assured, nobody will find out you talk to us. And this will truly be the last time Detective Ward will visit you. Isn't that right, Detective? Right. I swear it on the spirits of my ancestors. All we want is the courts for Red Queen's race. All right, but this is the last time, for real. It's outside city limits, near the river, the Nita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries, goods, sometimes peeps. We got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Club's empty. They shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Ryan died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. My shit luck! Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. It seems... Where are you going? Right, go ahead. It seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Horvath's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that lead drop. Okay. Let's go see this market of yours. We gonna take my car? Sure. Thanks. Ninety percent of any detective's job is talking, but you know that already. Must say, you're kinda natural. And the other ten percent? What's it consist of? Writing reports. So who are we supposed to talk to? Cyber Psycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, forty-two. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Soul contact, too, actually. Come on, V. No 
idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. Don't make trouble. Be trouble. There's smoke. This farm is... Scrolled everything Night City has to offer. Now discovered downtown. Christine Markov. Where will I find her? I don't know her. Buying something? Uh, not get out. You Christine Markov? Me? No. She's over there. Stall with the tech. Thanks. Know which one. Let's go. Hey! Hey! You Christine Markov? We have some questions. You badges? Red Menace? NCPD. This is Detective Ward. What do you want? Petar Horvath. No, he worked here. Yeah, he did. And then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. When did the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Peta, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. These speeches. What did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw, who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan, a madam president mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was his son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. So Horvath had a personal beef with Ryan. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. Guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air-dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Right. You did lose your only associate who could string two sentences together. Too bad he also liked diddling little kids. Here's my offer. Get the fuck out of here, and I won't arrest you as accessories in the murder of Mayor Ryan. <laughs> And wash your fucking wheels, pig. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? 
Good thing nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. Okay. We're at Queen's Race now. Gonna ride with me? How you look is all that matters. With Angelique Cosmetics, you can be in Sure, I'll ride with you. Animals turf. Any sly cop rules for talking to them? Scratch their tummies. Don't expose your throat. Ha fucking ha. We're short a warrant, so you're on your own. You find anything, tell me. Found a side door. Animals are letting their guard down. Probably haven't checked it out in ages.
Looks like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Telling me you got a hunch. Cop intuition? Something like that. Spotted.
Stairs inside. Clever. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one.
You okay? V, Come you hear me? Breathe. What are you doing here? Thought you couldn't come in without a warrant. I can't. Some gonks just ask to be flatlined sometimes. Yeah. Right. What was that, V? You asked me? Wasn't a heart attack that killed Ryan. Yeah, as I said from the start. But so it spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. Think you could be right. Come on, V. Looks like an office. Sort of. Comps for what we want. Comps above all. Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma cut. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? V, I'm not in the mood for jokes. Think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. Gonna look around some more. Okay, do what you will. Waste of time as I see it, though.
Gonna look around some more. Okay. Do what you will. <laughs> Waste of time as I see it. Okay, let's Delta. Think I saw another way out on the way in. Case reopened. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea of what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting.
Need to talk? I mean no longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. Got a problem and you're calling me? Thought you rejoined the family. Well, I... Yes, I did. But I thought... I suppose that means you're not willing to come. Am I right? On my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Mm-hmm. See you soon. Thanks. gonna tell you one thing I'm listening don't tell him nothing don't get involved this muck is deeper than you think suck you in if you're not careful I'm always careful fine do whatever the fuck you want not like you listen anyway hello V please come in Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. It's not a hundred percent clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is, but... Yeah, I got some idea. Ryan was murdered at a sex club. Someone gave him a virus spiked BD. You sure? Same BD almost wiped me, so... Yeah, I'd say I'm sure. Got any idea who did it? Cops are working the case again. Investigation into Ryan's death will be reopened. That's very good news. I feel... calmed. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. You two watch out for each other. Where did we leave off? Careful, please. Right, we'll return to this later. And the conference? Did you manage? Will we be in City Hall? No, no! Jeff was a council person until very recently. He has just as much of a right to use that space as Ryan. 
Oh, excuse me. Get it done today. We are not pushovers. We are not going away. The conference will be at City Hall. Thank you.